All right, let's check this out. This is Berlizzi's Let's Talk. Who is this? It's Berlin. Berlizzi. Watch this she made me existential, but she's very well put together so far. It looks good. What's good, everybody? It's been a minute. Look, Hello. it's 2024, and I feel like it's been years since I've done a vlog or talked to my YouTube community directly outside of a gaming video. Look, like most people, I try and treat the new year like a symbolic restart. It can be an opportunity to reset assess previous strategies to plan for the future Damn, i ain't gonna lie I with his crib it's really on some grown shit. I with that assess previous strategies to plan that's tough that's very tough crib so far and for the future to process the year and to execute it's not like i'm going to war but you know what i mean i feel like every year i start off saying new year new me and like most of y'all too it'd be capped my nigga still cuss. My wife should hit his ass. Dog, just be. I'm about to fucking. I'm 31 now, and, and being 31 is strange, but being 31 online, let alone growing up on the internet, is even weirder. I might be alone in this, but it feels like aging in content creation feels like I'm aging in dog years. Because when I was 21, Lord knows I didn't expect to be in this position a decade later. And while it is a blessed position, there has been a lot of stuff I've had to balance behind the scenes. Okay. You know, my family doesn't come from money. My parents did the best with what we had, and a lot of the struggles they faced financially were masked with love, church, and attention. And when attention couldn't be given, a trip to Blockbuster for the latest game rental usually did the trick for me. Think of all the mature, responsible things. I ain't gonna lie, it's very valid. You know what I'm saying? Very fucking valid. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's, but it was, it's all distractions. But I, I feel where he's coming from so far. Forget real. You'd rather be playing video games. You can run them from Blockbuster. Like, I was blessed with a cool childhood. But I remember the times when we had to move into my grandma's back house for a season. I remember seeing my mom cry to herself, stressed about how to make ends meet. I remember seeing my dad run his body ragged, never missing a shift at his post office job. And I remember a Christmas where my uncle brought us Happy Meal toys. And my mom made sure I didn't say anything, but I love you, Unc. Thank you. Damn. Decades later, I learned about YouTube and the potential YouTube had to change my life and as a byproduct, my family's lives. And while in college full time, I gained traction that snowballed into some of the most viral moments of my career that I then leveraged into a gaming career that if you really knew me, you know how full circle of a journey this has been. When 2020 hit and quarantine forced us all into our homes, there was a shift. And we had just dealt with two deaths in our families, my aunt and my grandpa, back to back. Damn. My YouTube, it hit new heights because everyone was home online. But since I was living in Texas on my own, I wasn't there to see my family struggling in real time. I had decisions to make. And it felt more important than ever to not only protect what I had built, but to continue building because success unshared is failure. Yeah. So a year later, my family and I started a whole trucking business. A year after that, I signed a lease on a building out here in Austin in hopes of creating an arcade bar, a dream that I've spoken about often on this channel. Oh, okay. That nigga doing something. I fuck with that. I like that. I seen when he posted that picture about the trucking business. I did see that. That was very tough. But this is tough as well. I like this. This is actually very nice. This is a very nice, well put together video. And what seemed perfect on paper ended up being a naive endeavor full of legal restrictions. Damn. If it wasn't the TABC liquor license being difficult to get, it was the zoning change being needed, or it was a noise ordinance being mandated, or a late night hours permit, or some staffing issues, or the fact that they only gave me three fucking parking spots. Damn. Long story short, this was not easy. 
Then there's building out some bros. Then there's the build out of the ball. All of these endeavors being financial, time, and energy commitments in their own rights. Not to mention, y'all, I've gotten sick with COVID like five times now. Okay, this is not a drill. Somebody need to call, I don't know, that nigga Osmosis Jones, because every dream con, I know not to jump in the crowds. But here my dumb ass go, hugging yeah. y'all, kissing babies. Y'all just keep giving me germs every year. And as all this is going on, YouTube had the nerve to shut my channel down over Poop Killer 5. I know at the time I played it off like it was all good and no big deal. That was that awesome. was one, that was the biggest reason of why we did not play that shit. I refused. Like I could even I I could have played it and had it all blurred, but I just refused to even put that bitch on my channel. Honestly, one of the scariest moments of my life. Not just for me, and not just for y'all, bro. But the fact that I was the one person so far in my family that had the potential to change everything, right? To break these generational curses, as they put it and I lose it all to a video game dildo. I'm sure you can imagine uh, this will weigh on somebody in one way or another. Facts. Gaming has always been my saving grace, something that to this day I still turn to for an escape. What? Good job. Welcome back. I've had some gains and some losses over the years, but the gains have been moving my entire family to Austin and to each their own homes, getting them established in places where they can thrive, oh, which in turn will change the generational wealth for all the children to come. This is where I've been mentally. And I know last year I was missed on the channel. Not that I'm like absent with the content, but where it used to feel like home, for me it felt a little bit more like I had weekend custody visitation rights or something. I don't Yeah, this fucking freezing. Oh, what is he doing? Oh shit! Man, where's your kid? I don't got one. <laughs> I fucking got one, bro. Which Hold is on. why Again? I'm excited for this year. Look, I moved into a new headquarters that I've been remodeling and finally able to set up an office that I'm extremely excited about. Ooh! I still love gaming. It's my first true love, honestly. And with or without a YouTube channel, I'll be gaming till my hands don't work anymore. Oh. But just like with my personal growth, I need a balance with my content too. Which is why I'll be moving into podcasting with my two brothers from other mothers that will cover topics that matter to me. Allowing my first love to be loved again. I've wanted to speak on the ups and downs of my life for some times, but I've always felt like this gaming channel just wasn't the place. You know, is there even a place for that? Not in fear of like the parasocial bullshit that comes with being a public figure, which also sucks. But what would I look like dumping my issues on the people who come here for an escape from their own shit? Nah, that's valid though. You know? You know, I you know look what, chat? And I, you know, good shit. Good on him, right? I ain't gonna lie, chat. Everybody needs that escape. And that's why, like, it's like, you need to talk about some shit. Maybe not everybody wants to go to a therapist or anything like that. But sometimes you just want to talk about shit. So, like, and hopefully the information you provide, like, helps the next person. You know what I'm saying? So, like, I would definitely, I would, I'm for sure going to be tuning into the pod. I love me a good pod. I love a good YouTuber podcast, too. Like, someone with, the, like, the same upbringing. That's why I really liked uh, Agents Podcast. I have really fucked with Agents Podcast. I was upset that they, they ended it. But this is something else that, you know what I'm saying? I never miss an episode type shit. Like, I was I was always... But I, I love a good podcast. I'd rather listen to a podcast while I'm working out than listen to music. That's how, like... I, I love a, a, a person... I don't know. There's just people in life that you can listen to talk. You know what I mean? And Berli I, I feel like Berlizzi is one of them. Like, I would just listen to him talk. And I'd like agents one, I would just listen to, you know what I'm saying? It's just certain people you really feel like you can just listen to talk all the time. And maybe that's how some of y'all feel with me. But I, I, I fuck with this. I fuck with this. You're my channel like a checkpoint. You come here, you rest, you know, you laugh, you catch a vibe. And you get your ass back out there and do what you got to do. 
But to be the provider of only laughs and vibes, knowing what I know about life, what I've been through, what I've seen, and knowing what I want to learn and share about life, it's tough to just act like everything's always funny. A nigga needed balance. I need balance. And for me, bro, 2024, balance will be restored. The speakeasy is an outlet. And I'm excited to bring a new avenue to express myself creatively and freely over there. If you're interested in this journey, please follow me over to the speakeasy channel down in the description below. Subscribe to the speakeasy channel because we're going to start hitting all over the head with the content hard, bro. And if you just want to see me more here, please stay tuned for more content as well. But as a community, okay, as a family, as the easy gang, oh, shit. I just ask that you please allow me to grace to get to you to figure this life thing out together with y'all. Because there ain't no rule book, bro. It's just taking it day by day. I love y'all, man. Thank you so much for watching this. And I'm going to see y'all soon, okay? Peace. That's valid. I fuck with this. Oh, yeah, I see him now. I'm fucking fat, bro. <laughs> right? Right, bro? Dog, you can't be serious, bro. Right. We're in a position to change the generational wealth for generations to come. That's what it means, right? <laughs> oh, let me say it again, bro. Fuck. <laughs> Okay, one more time. This is great. Thank you. Cheers, my boys. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I'm supposed to drink it, huh? Fuck. Holy oh, that shit. That pineapple juice is dog shit. I see where you like farts. I see why you retired. What the fuck? Yeah, good try. Smell, Smell that. that. Smell that. You got expired this is pineapple, my pineapple, bro. Bench, bro. Oh! Yeah, oh! Oh, shit! Oh, 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 oh shit! Yeah, we all boo-booing tonight. <laughs> <laughs> we out here, baby. Let me video. That was a good video. She makes you feel inspired as well, like. Uh, kind of hurts a little bit. Like, not in a sense, like, like, I just wish I can be more creative. Like, you know what I'm saying? I watch niggas create. I want to get on my grind. Do that, bro. Like, I feel like people don't. I think I'm as creative because I react to shit, but honestly, at the end of the day, reactor pays get pays bills. I just I mainly want a game. Like I like react. I like giving my take on things. I like talking about things. At the end of the day, I like gaming way more than anything. So, but I, I fuck with this. This was a, this was a really great video, bro. Very inspiring. <laughs>